This is TV3 KARD Television, Wichita, Kansas. Well, hello there. How are you? Off camera before I started, I've already prepped my face with Village Barber Shaving Oil. My razor is going to be this one piece twist to open, non adjustable Gillette TV razor. The second one that they made that came in a red case. My cream is going to be this Old Spice shaving cream, regular Old Spice. Incidentally, my blade in my razor is going to be a Rapira Swedish Super Steel blade on its second use. Okay. And I've already lathered my brush, sort of, the uh, Razor Rock 400 synthetic brush with the aluminum handle, kind of like the old Rubber Set 400 brush, at least the handle is. And I've lathered in the um, Sterling Collapsible Shaving Bowl. Let me go ahead and fluff this up a little bit more and try to get a lather started on my face. Now I hope you're all doing well out there. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I noticed straight away that uh, using this cream this time uh, even though it doesn't have a very strong scent this time for some reason it smells to me a little bit more like Old Spice not exactly but closer than I remember it smelling the uh, first time that I used it this may only be the second or third time that I've used this cream I've had it for a while I ordered it from an eBay vendor in India. And last I checked, it's still available from different Indian eBay ven vendors. Although I recall it took about a month to get to me. And I am just about ready to go here. So let me set some things aside here, and I'm going to wet the razor and pass number one with the grain. Here we go. The blade still seems pretty sharp. over to the other side of the face now and flip the razor over, use the other side of the blade. I'm going to rinse the razor. Continuing then. I wonder why the cream smells so much better to me this time. Maybe my nose was stopped up last time, although I don't think it was actually literally stopped up, but wasn't as sensitive or something, I don't know. And again, this cream doesn't smell exactly like Old Spice, but a little bit. We also have a lime Old Spice cream and one or two others. Comfortable shave so far. I'm trying to use a lighter touch though.
because this blade does seem fairly sharp. Incidentally, my neighbor lady that passed away, her, uh, well, two of her sisters and her daughter came here to make arrangements, and uh, the daughter now has Maple, the neighbor's, same neighbor's dog who I used to walk. And I'll step aside here while I continue shaving and show you a little video of Maple in her new home, which has a big fenced in backyard and there's another dog to run and play There she with. goes. Woohoo! Get the ball. Get the ball. Go get the ball, sweet girl. You go get the ball. Okay, get the ball. Okay, I'm going to pause here, but I'll be right back for a second pass across the grain. Okay, let's go across the grain. Lovely shave so far. I've purchased a restored uh, uh, straight razor online. It wasn't very expensive because even though it should be shave ready, um, I guess the edge of the blade is fine, but there's some pitting on the face of the blade. And I don't think that'll hurt anything. I hope not. And hopefully a uh, straight razor will be more forgiving on my face than a shavette has been. A long, long time ago, when I was a teenager, I ran a sharp butcher knife over my face and that was more forgiving than the chevette that I have. Yes, it was actually taking hair off, although I didn't shave all the way with that big butcher knife, but it didn't cut me. So we'll see what happens. And if I can master that straight razor, I will uh, begin doing some of my on-camera shaves with it every once in a while. And maybe when I have more money, I might buy, who knows, maybe a really expensive straight razor. Or maybe just a gold dollar straight razor, which I am told does hold an edge well, even though they only cost 20 or $30, I think. I notice a lot of gentlemen in the Facebook shaving groups shave with uh, the straight razor. And I always admire their ability to do so. Yes, sir.
really nice shave so far. I'll be right back and then we'll go against the grain. Okay, it's time to go against the grain and I'll start on my neck this time. I'm not entirely sure why the scent on the cream is so nice this time. I think it might have something to do with the fact that this bowl, the Sterling Collapsible Bowl, which I'm also told can double as a pet food bowl, um, this is so good in my experience for the kind of creams that come in tubes and maybe it's giving this uh, lather a more effervescent scent for lack of better words it's not a strong scent only about a one or two out of ten percent strength but very pleasant again not exactly like old spice but nearing old spice scent you know getting close to it and just pleasant overall Oops, what am I doing? I gotta finish this first before I go to my face and rinse the razor. If I remember correctly, I might have seen Paul H. shave with this cream recently, sometime in the last few weeks, I think. And he said it didn't really smell like Old Spice, but that it smelled all right. And I am enjoying the mild, pleasant scent of it right now, more than, more than I recall ever enjoying or, or noticing or smelling such a nice aroma coming from it. I know I sound like a stuck record, but... Uh, the mild scent is really filling up the old necessity room here, making this shave doubly pleasant for me. Yes, sir, this is really nice. I might have given myself a little leap, or I can't tell. But anyway. Yeah, I've given myself some tiny little leapers. Maybe going just a little bit too aggressive uh, on my shaving. But I know I do that out of excitement for the hobby. I really enjoy it. To a fault.
Okay, wow. Uh, sorry, so quiet. I was just kind of getting into the shave there. I'll be right back and then it'll be pickup time, everybody. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the magic clock over there, or there, tells us that it's pickup time. Of course, I can tell you that myself. Thank you, magical clock. You're a big help. Okay, here we go. Boy, I keep noticing the scent of that cream. Why is it so nice this time? Maybe my theory about the the nice shaving bowl helping and the effervescence and all that. Maybe there's something to that or maybe it's just, maybe I'm in a good mood or something. I don't know. I keep feeling like I have to reiterate. It's not a very strong scent, but this time... It's a very pleasant scent. And if Paul H. should happen to watch this, I usually insist he does. I fly over to Wales and tie him up and make him watch these videos. But, uh, no, I'm just kidding. But if he should watch this one, I would like to know his feedback on this. It seems to me, like I said, if I remember correctly, he was rather underwhelmed by the scent of this cream, although I think he said it was pleasant enough, but this time I'm really enjoying it. And I have a lot of creams that just have an okay scent, usually not very strong. Sometimes just a mild, pleasant, regular soapy scent and, you know, what do you want? for a few bucks, but anyway, wow, this is feeling good. Just a couple more uh, touches on this, and I believe I can call it done, but I'm gonna rinse the razor. Of course, I always wanna gild the lily more than I need to. Shave over the same places over and over. Try to get it so I hear absolutely no audio feedback, which can be difficult and problematic. I don't know. That's a, we're about done here. I think as it stands, without gilding the lily too much, this is at least a darn fine shave. And it's still bordering on BBS. I don't want to give myself a bunch of irritation by trying to overdo it. But, and then my face will get red even if I very gently run a cartridge or a disposable razor over it. My face is just a big red potato or tomato or something anyway. I'll be right back and then... Uh, I will dry off, begin a brief recap, and put the finishing touches on the shave. I believe you all know Mr. Tao. <sighs> ah. <sighs> ah, he's freshly laundered and still smells like downy downy dryer sheets that is I don't have the patience to mess with the downy liquid wow this is really pleasant really pleasant shave so far okay let me start a recap and put the finishing touches on the shave First, I'll put Mr. Tal back where he goes. Okay, there we go, I think. Off camera, before I started the video, I prepped my face with Village Barber shaving oil. And let's see, my razor has been this one piece twist to open Gillette TV razor, the second one that they made. In there, on its second use, has been a Rapira Swedish Super Steel Blade. 
My cream has been this original Old Spice shaving cream. My brush has been this, the Razor Rock 400 synthetic brush. And you can see there maybe where it says Razor Rock 400. And I lathered in this, the Sterling Collapsible Shaving Bowl. And you just go like that and hang it up on your towel rack. Okay, but I'll leave it open for a minute to dry out. Okay, moving on, if I've covered everything so far, I'm going to apply some of the Thayer's Lavender Witch Hazel. I'm running out of this stuff. I'm going to have to get more soon. Pleasant stuff. I guess it's too bad Old Spice doesn't make a witch hazel. At least they don't that I know of. <laughs> so pleasant. Okay, moving on. Fittingly, I'm going to add some of the Old Spice uh, aftershave lotion right there. Pop the little red cap off the bottle here. And then I'll put some in my hand down here. I mean, the bottle's down here. I'm going to be a little bit careful because the restrictor on that is not very narrow. Get it going in my hands. A little on the wrists as if I'm putting on cologne behind the ears, on the temples, back of the neck. Hmm. A little bit of burn to that, but that's okay. Oh man, that's nice. Oh, yeah, that is really nice. So what I'm going to use for a balm is this Dove Men Plus Care Ultra Hydra Cream. That's pretty good stuff. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit out. Don't need much. I'll get it going in my hand. Apply it to my face and neck. Back of my neck. Forehead and so forth. Trying not to get any in my eyes. Okay, that's really nice. It's got a nice mild scent that I find helps bring out the uh, scent of everything else even more. I'm going to go now. Thank you for joining me. Come back next week, if you would, please. Peace out.